On today's video, something a little bit special. We're not gonna use a 100 ISO film like we would use on a sunny day like here. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit lower. 25 ISO film. And what are the results to be expected? Obviously with 25 ISO, you can expect a really fine grain, but a higher contrast. And somehow a large amount of details. The low ISO film also allows you to use a wide aperture and uh, not requiring uh, high speeds like 1 over 800. And this camera is not capable of uh, that kind of speed, so bokeh it is. And the way you use a 25 ISO film is pretty normal. You just uh, use it and set your camera to 25 ISO and that's it. The only difference is when you process the film. I prefer to process it in D76 but at 1 plus 1 dilution, uh, 68F20C, for 14 minutes. That way I don't get that high of a contrast that is to be expected with 25 ISO with normal dilution. The only downside of a 25 ISO film is uh, the low sensitivity, so you might not be able to capture an image in low light situation. But besides this, the results are pretty fine, lots of details. What's not to like about it? So, uh, should you get one of these films to try film photography? I think you should get every film in existence, and at least give them a try and pick the one you prefer. That's how we do things. I always like the Rolle films. They're pretty good and they're not too expensive, so to me they are somehow a good deal. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.